Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. Welcome to another video in our How to DJ with Tractor Pro 2 video tutorial series. The loop recorder was introduced in Tractor Pro 2 and enables you to layer recorded audio loops into your mix. Let's start by taking a look at the different loop recorder controls. The first control I want to talk about is the source. This is what is actually going to be recorded into the loop recorder. To access all the different sources that you can choose from, you want to simply select this drop down menu. Right now we're in internal mode and there are four different options for the source. Main is all of the sound currently going through Tractor. That could be multiple decks, sample decks, and even live inputs. Q is going to be the sound coming through the decks with the Q enabled. EXT is external audio coming in from the FX return input, and AUX is external audio coming in from the AUX input. When you're using external mode, you only have the EXT option. You want to make sure that you have your audio routing and sound card set up beforehand so that you know what type of options you have to use with the loop recorder. For the purposes of this video, we want to record everything that's going through Tractor. So we're going to leave this source option set to main. Above source, you have a dry wet knob. This will control the mix between the audio in the loop recorder and the audio coming through Tractor. Like the source options, whether you're mixing internally or externally will vary on how the dry wet knob works. If you're mixing internally, if you have the dry wet knob all the way to the left, which is at plus 0, .0 .0, you will not hear any audio from the loop recorder. If you turn it all the way to the right to plus 1, you'll hear only the loop recorder and you will not hear any of the other decks or inputs in Tractor. When you're mixing externally, it works a little bit different. It still acts like a wet dry knob, but it also acts as a gain control. So when you have the knob all the way to the left, you're not going to hear any audio from the loop recorder. That's the same as internal mixing. However, when you get near the middle, you'll see that it goes to 0 dB. And this is still a mix of the loop recorder and all of the other decks or inputs coming through Tractor. The last option we should take a look at is the size value. You can see the button size here, and if you push it, you'll see that the number in the box above changes. The number that you see is the number of beats that are going to be recorded into the loop recorder. So if you have it on 4, that will be 4 beats, 8 beats, 16 beats, or 32 beats. You want to make sure that you have this set to the correct number of beats that you want to loop. Now that we've gone over the controls of the loop recorder, let's take a look at how you might use it in your mix. First, you want to make sure that you have assigned the correct source. We've got our set to main, and that's what we want to be recording. Next, we're going to play our track. And when we're ready, we can press record on the loop recorder. You can see that it stopped recording the loop and is now going to be looping that. If we turn off this and then bring in the dry wet, you'll now hear the loop that we were just playing in our sample deck. Now we can do other things. So let's take, for example, record a second loop. We'll start playing this here, and because our dry wet is all the way to the right, you won't be able to hear it. But then, let's add in this loop to the recording. Now you can hear that we have two layers of sounds. If we don't like that particular loop, we can always undo it. Or bring it back in by clicking redo. If you don't want to use the loop anymore, you can simply press the play button and that will stop playing the loops or the layered loops. Now that you've used a loop recorder to capture some audio, let's take a look at the different things that you can do from here. First, you can simply add more layers. You can add different tracks, acapellas, or even audio coming in from a live input. You can also use the sample decks to create your own custom tracks live as you're mixing. You can also 
get rid of all of the recording. So if you want, you can simply press the delete button and that will get rid of the recorded audio. This will allow you to start recording new audio and build new layered sounds. If you really like the audio that you created in the loop recorder, you can click and drag on the controls and then drop it into a sample deck slot. Now you can see that we have a processed waveform of that recorded loop. We can simply play this loop whenever we want and use it in future mixes. For more video tutorials, product reviews, and industry news, visit the DJPodcast.com.